What's going on my dudes, One's Tap here with the five best super arts in Street Fighter 6. With 18 characters and three supers each, that is 54 supers. So which ones are the best ones and why? Take it one step at a time. First things first, my dudes, if you enjoy fighting game content and you want more of it, make sure and subscribe here because we have new videos Monday and Friday. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Most characters, Super Arts 1 and 3 are typically the first one being really quick and good damage and the third one being high damage with a really cool animation. Where the distinct really good supers lies actually usually in the Super Art 2 reign. And here's why. Also, as we get in there, let me know down below who is your main character in Street Fighter 6 and why. My main so far is Manon. Jury's Super Art 2 is our very first example of one of the best supers in the game to show you what it looks like to begin with here's what it looks like as you see we don't really do any damage coming out of it you can hold it and then get a hit off sure but what makes it one of the best in the game think of jury's super art 2 as create a combo mode since jury's already a really quick character honestly going to super art 2 just makes her more difficult to deal with so for an example her back heavy is this kick and her forward heavy is this kick they don't go together. Like, you can't link them together and make them a true combo. But what Jury Super R2 allows you to do is link any normals to other normals like those two kicks. That's a true combo. And we can do that combo into a special if we wanted to. Where, again, we're creating our own combos. And that's why they allow you to dash out of it to start that combo instantly. It just gives her access to combo routes that she doesn't normally have. Honestly, you probably be saving up to get to Super Art 2 more often than the other ones because of what you can do in her Super Art 2. Making our top five list for sure. When it comes to most people, they're pretty reserved until you get a few drinks in them and Jamie is no different. For those that don't play Jamie, Jamie actually gains access to certain combos after getting his drink level up. So you see here we're drink level one, drink level two, drink level three. Now we have our combos, drink level four. We have even more combos now that are just devastating. So Jamie's Super Art 2 makes our list because it puts Jamie instantly drunk level four, giving him access to all of his drunk level four combos immediately for a limited time. This is very important because Jamie has a lot of tools that you're locked out of when you're sober, but you get absolutely wasted like that super fast. Oh my gosh, disgusting. The reason why it makes our list is because it's a really good comeback mechanic. You get it decently early in the game or let's say you just can't get a hit off of you can't you can't drink your drink as much as you want to i'll just super art to it get there instantly and now you're an absolute monster kind of like juries where it just gives you access to these tools to make your character excel the best they can think about marissa for one second what does she want to do what's her game plan if you haven't guessed that already it's forward carrying your opponent into the corner to do some devastating stuff with that being said marissa's super art three makes our list in fact the only super art three to make our list today for its awesome properties and here's what i mean it will put your opponent in the right corner from anywhere on screen so let's say we're in the left corner we do our super art three here side note it goes through projectiles as well and from left screen we're gonna put our opponent in the right corner look at this we're in the right corner now so the corner pressure is now yours immediately this is one of the best ways to turn the tables in a fight if you're getting pressured in the corner guess what now they're in the corner not a lot of supers do that especially from anywhere on screen whether you're in the corner or even just mid screen and you want to get that super r3 off put him in the corner for that pressure oh let's go baby Zangief Super R2 allows you to throw your opponent any direction you want, left or right, or you can just hold the input for more damage and combo out of it. One of the very few supers in the game that you can actually combo from. And with Zangief, that just means extra insane damage. Here's what it looks like. So you see here, we're gonna vacuum our opponent in. Now, where do we wanna throw them, left or right? Right. Or vice versa, we're in the corner. I don't like that, so I'm gonna grab my opponent. I'm gonna put them in the corner instead. Hey, Guile, now you're in the corner. It's one of those things that just really turns the tables in a fight. Even if you're not really in the corner, but you wanna put them in the corner like this, you don't wanna turn around, you're just close to it. Well, okay, well now it's just super hard to throw them in the corner. Now that corner pressure is ours. Or again, we just hold the input, do crazy damage, jump out of it, do a command grab in the air for more damage. Oh my gosh. With the ability to choose where you want to throw your opponent or just combo out of it, Zangief Super Art 2 makes the list. Another Super Art 2 is JP's Super Art 2. The simple fact that it just gives you crazy combo potential, allowing you to end the fight pretty fast. At a first glance, it might not seem like much because you see four ghosts, one, two, three, four. That's great. So this is really just a trap that JP can just set for you because the ghosts do hit your opponent. So if they learn the pattern, they could block it. Now when you're locked down from this, JP can do whatever he wants wants here he can spend that time doing tax evasion tax evasion or whatever jp does best i don't know or what's most likely is while you're being trapped jp will also just combo you out of it 
or grab you from it, just giving JP the massive advantage that he needs. Either zone you out, put that pressure back on you. During it, he can set traps, so he can just like, hey, when you when you come out of this, you got another trap for you, bop, then combo. There's just so many options that JP has from the Super Art 2. The fact that it opens up so many options for JP, kind of deciding where do I want to take this fight, that's why it makes our top five list. Let me know down below what supers do you think are the best in Street Fighter 6? Do you agree with this list or not? Let me know down below. In your fighting game journey, make sure and take it one step at a time, and I will see you in the next one.